Right big dog, so that's meal one done. We can't come to every meal fresh, you know what I mean? Rinse and repeat. Back on with the day. Yes guys, welcome back to the YouTube. Thank you very much for supporting the journey so far. So, today we are going to run through a full day of eating where I currently am, which is just finished up my pre prep phase. So I had blood work done yesterday, sorry Sunday, we're now on Tuesday. Um, I've got the results back yesterday, sent through to Cal. I'm just waiting for the plan of the action and then it's go time for the prep. So, uh, I'm going to run you through a full day of eating what, we, what we're eating at the start of prep, which I don't think food's going to change that much. Um, because as we came out of off season, the aim when you come out of off season is to have a bit of a freshen up, get yourself into a good routine for prep. So the main thing that I focus on is because you can slack off a little bit in off season, routine you might get up a little bit late, you eating a lot of food, um, your routine might not be quite sort of nailed on. So the main focus in your pre-prep phase um, is to get yourself absolutely switched on, fully focused in a routine and a structure for, for you to be starting prep in the best position. And that's where I'm at, my routine's nailed on. I get up to five o'clock, I get to the laptop, I do my laptop work, take the dog out for a walk, come back, do my cardio, have my breakfast and then box work off um, before I'm, I'm ready to train, so I'm fully switched on to train. Uh, so, routine's nailed, food's come down a little bit, body weight is, it, it's dropped off initially, so obviously drugs have come down, but it's holding nicely now. Um, I'm fresh, I'm healthy, I'm fit, I'm ready to, uh, to crack on. So, let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna get started with meal one. So I'll uh, put some veggies on. So I'll put my, my veggies on for the day. Uh, I'll put meal on, which I'll, uh, I'll get cracking and chew my legs. Right, part two of meal one. Cream of rice, cream of rice is back in because my appetite is playing. And I've got to say, this is the best flavour that I've ever had, cream of rice. Custard cream, hey, it literally does taste like, I've, I've not had a custard cream for years, but I can imagine that's what a custard cream tastes like. Absolutely banging. If you're looking for a new flavour of cream of rice, make 10 for discount, custard cream. It will change your life. And because I'm hungry, I've started putting a little bit more water in. So now my appetite has gone up. Um, I've started putting a bit more water in. Um, I still count the water in my totals for the day. So I'm drinking between six and seven litres a day. Um, which I'll measure with like four bottles of 1.5 litre Highland Spring or whatever, and whatever I get from Costco. And then the extra litre will go in my two cream of rice meals, which is like 350 to 400 each, and then a cup of coffee, um, which will be like seven litres for the day. But, uh, and just keep on top of your, your, your water intake and your hydration by doing that. So I know if I drink four litres of them, and that's used for my intro and my pre-workout, um, that I've got six in. And then just the extra little bit for my cream of rice meals and my coffee. I know that that's 400, 400, and probably 200 ml coffee. That's seven litres a day. And I just keep that consistent all the way through prep. Unless Carl tells me I'm peak meat, up your water. A little bit of low salt. Just a sprinkle. Just because it's a little bit higher in potassium. So I've increased my sodium intake. So I was having two grams of pink salt per meal and two grams of my intro, which is 14 grams. But the weather's getting hotter. I'm sweating a bit more. And I always feel that I hold my fullness when my sodium's a little bit higher. So this is a, a gram of, uh, I smashed my engineered muscle. Riz, Riz uh, engineered muscle, does a, um, a salt dispenser, which is 0.5 gram per kit. I will get one by, but I smashed it. So I'm back to the old salt room, which is a gram. So I do two. And a little bit. 
so about two and a half, and then a little bit of low salt. So I've probably up my uh, sodium to about 16, 17 grams for the day. Fucking hell. I'll get juice back in quick. <laughs> Can't even open up fucking to the raspberries. Here we go. Look at them. They're proper bad boy raspberries. So we'll do 100 grams of frozen raspberries. 96, 900. Beautiful. There, Tommy, reduced Tommy K. Job done, that's meal one. So I'll get this down and then I'll come and prep my rice for my next meals. Um, I'm going to get a coffee and get back into a uh, block of work. So let's go get this down. Right, big dog, so that's meal one done, which was, I forgot to actually say what it was, it was 150 grams of fillet steak from fresh prep, two whole eggs, 100 grams of veggies, 100, 100 grams of trim badges, the custard cream, cream of rice, and 100 grams of raspberries. Macros will be on the screen, smoke, so pop them in. So we're just gonna get his next couple of meals ready in his pre and his intro. So, we've got my rice here for the day, which is 400 grams uncooked white rice so just give that a wash off to add to the rice we're going to put a bit of ground turmeric in make it like pill out or pop that into the rice with a bit <laughs> just gives it a nice nice colour nice bit of flavour my rice on for today so I'll do my pre and intra workout nutrition now nor the shaker so I've got 400 500 ml of water in my pre and we're going to pop in the go pump product trained by JP pumpage which is stim free I try my best in prep to keep caffeine intake to a minimum so I'll have a coffee in the morning, which I've not actually had my coffee yet. Uh, and I'll save my stim pre-workouts until like I really need them when I really start to feel the pinch. I might potentially use one every now and again for like leg day or potentially like a posterior when I'm doing SLDLs. But I generally just use pumpage. And I might have like I say one, potentially two coffees a day until I, until I really need them. So pumpage and then 10 to 15 grams of creatine. Creatine is the most studied supplement on the market, proven for performance enhancement in terms of recovery, strength. It's got um, digestive benefits. It can act as a GDA. So creatine is 100% something that everybody, natural or assisted, should have in their, have in their arsenal. So, go check that out. Um, so that's my pre-done. And then my intra. Two and a half grams of pink salt. 10 grams of glutamine, which again, very, very studied. Um, massive benefits for gut health and gut healing. So I'll keep my, my glutamine in it. Between 10 and 30 grams a day. So I might have some in the morning shake as well. 25 grams of MPS max. And I, I don't really weigh this in off season. I just bang a couple of scoops in. But you know when I get into prep, I get a little bit more in also. I um, I weigh everything. So I make sure that I'm getting probably about 10 grams of glutamine. So 35, 60, 60. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. MPS max. Again, you can't you can have... Uh, yeah, aminos in one hit during your session, which I've done before, but you know what, just a bit of a 
bit of a nightmare just having another cake. So I have done it both ways. Is there a massive difference? I don't think so. I think if you're still eating, like within an hour training, you're getting a nice amino acid spike and a nice hit of protein there. I don't think you need to necessarily have your aminos in one hit. But if you want to, you can. And then 50 grams of sustained which is my preferred carb source intro. I use this and performance fuel. I like them both. I do like to see it's a little bit smoother. That's that done. So that's my pre and my intro done. Now we'll, uh, we'll wait for the rice to be done and uh, we'll go we'll and crack on with some work in the meantime and come back down for meal two. Meal two underway. It is just gone half past 10. And I've boxed all my check-ins off for the day, which is, uh, which is good. It's a busy check-in day today, but because my routine is nailed on, I've basically boxed everything off. It's like 12, 13 check-ins today, athletes, and then just normal like off-season check-in clients. So it puts me, it stands me in good stead now for the rest of the day, so I can just concentrate on my food, my training, get myself in the zone. And then when I get back from the gym, I'll probably have like uh, a bunch of messages to reply to any setups that need getting done, they'll get done. Clients who are checking in multiple times a day, like post workout, check ins for people who are post the show, I'll get them done. But uh, yeah, that's everything done, so I'm happy, ready to, to crack on. So I'll get my meal two boxed off again. Fresh prep chicken. Get yourself a good pair of scissors, by the way. Scissors are 100% better than a knife. What I will probably do going into next week when preps officially starts is at the minute I've got Jamaican jerk and piri piri flavoured chicken. And not that that's going to cause an issue, but I'll just go to my plain chicken. So no seasoning. If I want any seasoning, I might put a little bit on myself, but I may be just salt just for my mental sort of state. Right, right, seasonings are out. I don't know why I do it, I just do it. Because I don't like warming my chicken up in the microwave anymore. I like warming it up in the pan. So I warm my chicken up in the pan with some veggies. A bit of spinach. Rice is done for the day. So this is my 400 gram rice for the day. Perfect look. Fill our rice. Job done. That's quite banged on, isn't it? Well, the health benefits are too much, isn't it? Yeah, nice stuff. Anti inflammatory health benefits. I don't know how much you need to actually get inflammatory health benefits, but. So I know at least that's my 400 gram portion for the day, um, which usually works out around 275, 280. But as long as I go, as long as I get those uh, those four evenly spread meals, I'm sweet at that. That's that done. Best thing you've ever done. I mean, I can I can prep every meal fresh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Two hundred grams of chicken for the day. A hundred grams of jasmine rice. I have tried basmati, but I still prefer jasmine. A bit of pilau rice, three caramel snacker jacks, 100 grams of mango. Job is a fish. A litre and a half water down. Um, what else about? A bit of coffee. So it will be like three, three and a half litres of water down after the workout. And then the remainder will be this evening. So let's get this, uh, get this underway. <coughs> I forgot to show you my subs, um, but I'll uh, I'll show you my supplements with a with the next meal. Nice. Yeah, pre-workout meal done, and that can sit in the freezer for a, for a while before we get that down. So, food's going down very very easy. This is sticky toffee pudding, cream around, which is. Like a cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. <laughs> Fucking easy for you to say. <laughs> it smells a bit like cinnamon. I can smell that from here. It smells like it does smell like sticky toffee pudding, doesn't it? Love that one. Eh? Yeah, that makes it. Right. 
Bye bye, Micro. Caramel biscuit we'll go for today. Before we eat it, and we're about ready to rock. So we'll uh, we'll chill for a bit. We'll get uh, get changed, and uh, we'll see if the pre-workout before we get to the gym. Because you've got your pants on. <laughs> You're a bit hormonal, aren't you? <laughs> Bless her. As you can see, Neela's in season, so she's got a little puppy pants on, and she's not feeling herself, are you? She's feeling like a normal female, a bit moody, a bit hormonal. Oh. Right, so pre-workout meal going in. 100 grams of sticky toffee pudding, cream of rice from Train by JP. 100 grams of banana, 20 grams of dark chocolate, 50 grams of caramel biscuit, Train by JP performance ISO. Um, so I'm going to get this in and enjoy every mouthful. Then we're going to get off to the gym and train push, rinse and repeat get my meals in and uh, we'll see you for post-workout. Post-workout. Yes guys, so we've just finished training push, which was a nice surprise. You had my good friend Joris joining with us. Um, I used to work with Joris when I first started PT back in 2016, 2017. So I worked with him for like three and a half years at S20. He's now killing it international, I'd say life coach. He does everything. Um, lifestyle, like performance athletes, um, businessmen, businesswomen, really high end sort of coaching. Uh, so check him out, Scribbing Strength. He's a, he's a top, top guy. So it was a pleasure having him um, come and train with us today. He's a, uh, a very, very, very knowledgeable bloke. And it's just good to catch up, good to have a chat, good to train with him, to see what he's been up to. And he's still strong as an ox, and he still looks fantastic. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do a bit of posing now, a round of posing. It's like an absolute fucking song up here. So yeah, we're going to do a round of posing, and then uh, get back for some food. Back on with the day. Go dummy, go beast, I don't know. Celebrate, no pump fake, hesitate. I've been scoring every day. Champagne Perrier. Since 9 3, been in the box, now I'm stepping up to home. Like straight out the sand lot, now I'm plying on the globe. I work hard, I show love. Post workout. Yes, guys, we're back from the gym. Great push session today. So, I'm ready for this meal now. Good old chicken and rice post workout. So, 100 grams of rice. 50 grams of dates. And put 60 in because. Let's have a look. These have got stones in. So when you take the stones out, there's got to be 10 grams worth of stone. I'm going to say this, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Bad boy. And I've actually got two squares bars. But you know what? As prep will be starting basically tomorrow, I'm gonna ask if I can take the squares bars out. Because my appetite is high, so I'd rather just have more rice or more dates. So I like to cut any processed stuff out really at the start of prep. And just go whole foods. So that 
is post-workout, ready to rock. Nice and easy. Chicken and rice, two squares bars. Get me water in. That will be my third bottle of that. We're good to go. Please. Meal five. We've just got back from a, a dog walk. It's half past six. So as you can see, I'm getting my meals in nice and early. One, because my appetite's firing. Two, because I'm in a good routine. I'll have my next meal at half past eight. I'll be in bed for nine o'clock. Get seven hours sleep. I'm all job to done. Job to do done. So steps. I'm on 10K steps today. Just got back from that walk. 28 minutes. 10,189. Steps done, so everything else is a bonus now. Just pottering around the house, cleaning the kitchen up after I've finished, get a shower, make sure the dogs are sound. That's about it, done. We'll get one more meal in after I've had a shower, tidy a few bits of hot laptop and it'll be a good night at the end. Rest, recover, go again. What's in that? Oh, this is 200 grams, <laughs> sorry, 200 <laughs> grams of fillet steak, 100 grams of jasmine rice with uh, around 75 to 100 grams of mixed veggies, which is mushrooms, peppers, spinach, asparagus, three caramel snacker jacks, 100 grams of mango, um, and that's it. That's me. We've got so many live but actually goes on power. We are in with meal six, which is my favourite meal of the day, which is 250 grams of salmon fillet. I like fry it off to make the skin nice and crispy. Now, this will be interesting. So I did 400 grams of jasmine rice to start the day, and I weighed it out, just guesstimated to what I used it, about 280 grams per meal. So I'll be interested to see, with this as my last portion, how close it was. 272, the last meal was going to be a bit more. 295, 305. So I could have probably gone a little bit. About 290, 290 per meal. So we know that it's actually 310. So two lots of 280, three lots of 280 in here, 310. I could have gone to like 290, but so I've got the 400 grams of rice over there. Spread more or less evenly over them four meals. Some peppers in. It's that, so. You don't need no oil because it's a non-stick pan and the salmon has got, it, got its own uh, like fats and oils in there so it makes it nice and moist. So that will be meal numero six. So I'll wash the pots before bed, sit down and eat meal six, which will probably, what will it be, about half eight? Meal six done, half past eight, an hour chilling, in bed for quarter past half past nine. Job done, day done, training done, work boxed off. I've just done my last little bit of work and we, uh, we go again. What? Right, privileged. I feel privileged to be doing what I'm doing. Right, I wouldn't want it any other way. I just feel like I've accomplished a lot today. Right, I've got up, I've took dogs out for a walk, I've took dogs out for two walks, I've done my cardio, I've trained hard, I've done four, five, six hours of laptop work and uh, I've got a, a good solid day's worth of food in. I couldn't ask for more from today. Back in day, back in start of bed. Callum's got back to me. Updated me with my blood work and my side to start there. So, the next video will be what drugs am I taking to start this prep. So stay tuned and we'll do a cycle update while I'm starting that one. So, 
And we get this in there, we'll let it cool down a bit, get that polished off. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you soon, big dogs. Peace and love.